this video, I wanted to kind of go back and just revisit the previous projects that you were working on. So you had made some ticker texts as far as newscasts are concerned. I wanted to actually show you kind of like what happens after the fact. So you've made these, but then where do they go? How do we use them as multimedia designers? Normally at this point, you'd be working with a videographer as far as editing and either doing it live where you're adding the ticker text or you're doing it pre-recorded. That means that you're also then having to work inside of another piece of software, such as a video editing software package. If this is something that interests you, uh, you have Adobe Premiere, which is part of the Adobe Creative Suite. That is the paid version. However, you can also use what is called DaVinci Resolve. Honestly, in all the years I've been doing multimedia, I will say that to me, DaVinci Resolve is probably the one free software package that is closest to its Adobe counterpart uh, as far as usability and how it lays things out as far as design and things like that go. Some of the words are a little different, but really it's the same design process. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just use a demo that I was doing for digital talk, photography here uh, and talking about as far as some video work and stuff. And I'm going to show you how you can actually use the ticker, how the ticker is used whenever it's pulled into uh, another video software. So what I actually did here is I saved this as the .xcf and I saved it as a PNG so that I have the transparent background here. And one of the first things that you have to do now is actually get it into what we call kind of the, the media bin or the library for your project. It depends on how your workflow is. We actually call it a master bin depending on the project. So I can just come in and say, you know, right click and import media. I can go up to my desktop and notice it recognizes both the GIMP and the PNG. So I'm actually going to pull both of those in. Uh, just so that you can see those. So there you can see uh, the ticker text is now kind of previewing there as far as our layout goes. And if I come over now and I'm going to go into edit, so I have the video already kind of in place with the audio and I'll scroll all the way back here. Let's go all the way back to the start. There we go. And I have though kind of this demo ticker text here as well. What you can actually do here is you can lay overlay by just clicking and dragging the ticker text on top of your video. So here you can see now it's actually appearing there. And one of the nice things about working with text and video okay, is so, this is um, fine that I have, you know, you a little bit about if I needed to actually uh, integrate over here, like you see how once I got to the little end here, it kind of just snapped away. The beauty of working with an image is I can just keep dragging it out for as long as I need it. So, so long as the ticker text is present, you have that capability that you can go in and tweak and edit it. As far as this specific workflow goes, the only big drawback compared to like the Adobe products is Adobe products are linked in with one another, whereby you can work with the native file types and be making edits and they automatically update in the other software packages. Meanwhile, if you're working with things like DaVinci, GIMP, Inkscape for Illustrator, etc., we don't have that capability. However, again, it's what you decide. Are you willing to pay the $40 a month to be able to have all of your software integrated? to one another or is this just a class that you're taking to kind of get an idea if this is what you want to do and you didn't want to have to pay a lot for software that you may only be using for eight weeks. Honestly, at the end of the day, you know, the graphics that you put out of GIMP or Inkscape are going to look very similar to the ones, especially when it comes to things, multimedia pieces like this with the ticker text. It's going to look the same as if you did it in Photoshop. Likewise, uh, for me at least, DaVinci Resolve, this is what I use to edit my videos. I don't use Premiere anymore. Uh, same exact effect, they upload like normal to YouTube and everything's all good to go. 
So I just wanted to take some time here since you did just have the project where you were designing these, I wanted you to see kind of the end result of how we use these integrated into a video editing environment.